For the last week, me and Raya have been on this amazing 100% solar powered yacht with our friends Kara and Nate. We've also had some other friends join, Eamon and Beck. Beck's currently on a, an electric foil board. We filmed a whole video of our week on our couples channel, but I wanted to make a video specifically talking about the technology and the solar panels and how it all works because I was pretty fascinated and I think this is a really exciting glimpse into the future of transportation. Obviously for thousands of years, humanity have been harnessing the power of wind to power boats. So you might be asking like, why would you not just sail and use sails? Which I think a lot of sailing purists would argue. But a lot of boats that are just kind of cruising around the coastline into harbors, a lot of sailboats would have a diesel engine as well. And a lot of these yachts, like if this is technically a yacht, uh, don't have sails and they would have very diesel hungry motors to power the boat. So the idea is that instead of having to use diesel engines, you could just use electric motors that are fully powered by the sun. And this company that have let us come and stay on the boat for the week are called Silent Yachts. And one of their claims is that this boat has unlimited range, which basically means if you're not traveling too far each day and you're managing to collect enough energy from the sun, you don't ever have to refill the tank. It does have a backup diesel generator. If for instance, you are in a cloudy situation for a week or you want it to go long distances fast, you can use diesel. But if you played it right, you could just live on this yacht, never needing to use diesel and just constantly harnessing the power of the sun. It has actually started raining a little bit. There's a storm rolling in. Again, days like this aren't ideal because the sun isn't as bright, so we're not pulling as much power off the solar panels as we could. But to give you some of the stats for those of you that are interested, there is 10 kilowatts of solar currently on this boat. And to give you a comparison, our school bus only has 700 watts. So this is over 10 times the solar capturing capacity. And then all of that is stored in 210 kilowatt hour lithium batteries. And just to give you context, my electric powered vintage van, my VW van, I think it's around 70 kilowatt hours. So this is three times the capacity of my van and I'm using a full Tesla battery bank. So it's basically three times the capacity of a Tesla car, but it is powering two 250 kilowatt electric motors. So what I figured out was if you were going full power, which gives you like a speed of 20 knots, you would only be able to drive this boat for less than 30 minutes before draining the batteries. So I think from calculations and what I've heard is if you're going only around like three to four knots in good sunshine, you can essentially just go forever. Like you could just be sustaining that speed and capturing enough sunlight power to sustain a three to four knot speed, which isn't super fast, but if you're just cruising around islands and, you know, staying close to the coastline and you're not trying to like do long distance fast boating, it's very feasible and practical. Okay, so Nate's gonna show me the batteries that run this whole boat. Oh, wow. Wow, that's all of them? Yeah. That's pretty amazing. I'll see, there might be one in here. Wow. Yeah, this is 14 batteries. This is 70 kilowatt hours each. It's 14 batteries, 17 kilowatt hours, and 72. So it's three times 70 is 210. Those are the batteries that run the engine? And new ones are. I think this is the 24 volt that runs the, uh, the interior. So this runs the like inverter with like all the... Washer, dryer, stove. Oh, okay. Mike's gonna show us the electric motor that's powering the boat. This is the, the electric motor is um, behind here. And this shaft is running to the propellers, right? Yes. So these desalinate the seawater into fresh water. They do a hundred liters an hour each. That's awesome. 
So the three battery banks under here that we were shown connect together to create 400 volts, which is for the propulsion for the electric motors. And then the 24 volt system powers the two 8,000 watt inverters. So you could potentially be pulling 16 kilowatts of power just from like the washing machine, the kettles and all of the interior electricity. And it can power that, which is wild. So how many watt is this motor? 250. 250 kilowatt. kilowatt. Whoa, and there's two of these. It's so small to be pulling 250 kilowatt. So strong, Captain. Whoa. I still don't understand how that's 100 kilowatt. What? That doesn't make any sense. Volvo. So does this charge the batteries? Or does this have, is there a, is there a diesel motor? Or is this just charging so you can use the electric motors? Yeah, this is charging the batteries, the 400 volt batteries. So you're, you're never running a diesel motor, you're just running the diesel to charge the batteries to then run the electric motors. Yeah. Okay, oh, that makes sense. It's not Okay, this is what I understand. It might not be completely accurate, but this is 100 kilowatt. This is generating 100 kilowatt, this engine, via this generator. 60 kilowatts of those are going into charging the batteries and the remaining 40 kilowatts is going into the motors. So the batteries don't overheat. If you're trying to charge them with 100 kilowatts, the batteries get too hot, so um, the energy is siphoned off to go straight into the electric propulsion. And then how long does it take, if you were empty on battery and you wanted to recharge the batteries via this generator, how long would it take from zero? It, could, it produces 60 kilowatt, which goes in the batteries. Yeah, so it would take like three, four, three, three or four hours? hours? Three and a half hours because the battery... Um, and then do you know the consumption of diesel per hour on this, if it's running? 17 yes. litres of diesel per hour. So to, re to fully charge the batteries up, it's going to be almost... It's going to be like 52 litres of diesel or if you've got 10 kilowatts of solar you'd need you'd need like two full days of sunshine right to to charge the batteries from zero this time of year which isn't peak and obviously the solar is never going to be pulling exactly 10 kilowatts but mike's saying over the course of a day it averages out that they're pulling about 50 kilowatts of solar per day yeah. which is still pretty incredible cool thanks for showing us that <laughs>